last year slash this year, do you have a plan for supplementation? What I have done over the last, say, nine months, which has, and this is going to sound like a shameless plug because I'm involved with these guys, but probably what I would do this ski season is I would have a never-ending supply of Maui Nui oh. venison sticks, like yeah. the unsweetened, yeah. like no additional sugar. And that has proven for me to be just about the easiest way to get nutrient-dense 30 grams of protein in the morning. I can just throw those in my ski jacket, too. So that will probably take the place of eggs, Yeah. also just for convenience. In terms of supplementation, I would say last year, I kept it pretty simple. I would say I was taking magnesium, some electrolytes, generally magnesium in the morning, and then... I went back and forth on creatine. I know that there are so many different benefits to creatine. Yep. I was cognizant of not wanting to carry too much weight, like additional water weight, if I was going to retain a lot more water. Oh, yep. So I used that intermittently. I would often use that around cross training. So if I was like kind of going to the gym, yeah. athletic greens, again, it's going to sound like a plug, but I've been using that stuff since 2000, whatever, nine or 10. And supplementation, we could say, you know, I, I could be brief here if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But. Absolutely making sure magnesium is there. Magnesium is released in sweat at very low quantities, but it's still enough when you sweat the amount that you're potentially oh, going yeah. to be sweating. Oh, yeah. Also, with, with skiing, like I'm going to sweat my ass off. Yeah. I'll be working. So you, you want to make sure that that stuff is high. Creatine is great. If you're going to use it, I wouldn't use it the way you did. Okay. I would use it or don't. Okay, So got having it. it like on certain days or not is probably not. Make it daily or not. Yeah, because it takes a chronic effect yeah. for it to really start to matter unless you're going a really high dosage. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be super concerned about the water retention aspect of it. Because Might even be a plus. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, we're having a yeah. problem with that anyways, right? Any recommendation, if you try and it doesn't work, you don't like it. Yeah. And what are we talking about? Like five grams a day or what are we? That's the number. That's the standard. That's yeah. what everyone throws out. But I would say the same thing of like... Like the protein? Yeah. yeah. Like why? Candidly for guys our size, it's fine. I'm probably going higher. I'm also never measuring creatine, to be totally honest. Like, I'm just yeah. taking big scoops and throwing it in there. Yeah. Like, seeing what happens. There's actually really interesting data on the more recent stuff, the more interesting stuff on creatine is around bone health, brain health, and overall, even, like, mood. Brain health is no joke. Yeah. yeah, but that's been 10 to 20 grams a day. I have experimented with that chronically, and just looking at verbal, I mean, it's... Recall, yeah. And also just, like, verbal acuity and, and stuff in podcasts. I mean, I've looked at at this somewhat it's n of one it's just self-reporting but for me it's pretty noticeable you don't have to do n of one there's data yeah there's tons of it out there that's yeah. nothing's perfect but yeah there's actually another review article just this week came out also on creatine and brain health mm -hmm. so whether you're looking at dementia alzheimer's parkinson's stuff like that it's an, there's no perfect answer there but yeah you can see the data anything else you'd add to the list the rest of it would be dependent upon your labs and your physiology, yeah. what we knew there. You could throw in, you're never going to be hurt for the most part, adding vitamin D. It's a very yeah. common one. You're yeah. going to be on the sun all day. So, Well, half of my face will be out in the sun all day. Yeah, <laughs> There'll be significant sun blockage, I hope. So, yeah, uh, yeah I, I did supplement with D last year. Yeah, and fish oil? I also supplemented with fish oil. Yeah. Could be uh, placebo, who knows? There's probably literature out there on this, but I... Found it to seemingly help with sleep quite a bit. Those would be the standard kind of, without knowing anything about you, you throw in that cocktail, you're talking about things that are fairly cheap. Yeah. You know, again, relatively. Yeah. They have very little cross-reaction. Mm -hmm. Unlike minerals. Yeah. Unlike even high doses of vitamins. Mm -hmm. You're playing a game there that you may want to be a bit careful of. Mm -hmm. But things like vitamin D and things like omega 3 Meaning just unintended side effects. Unintended, yeah. Side effects, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to know what problem you're solving, really, and so you're just sort of throwing stuff in there. That can technically happen with anything, even vitamin D and heavy metals mm -hmm. can be concerned there, but it's a very rare thing. So most of the time, like, you're fine. I, I feel comfortable saying, like, most people can jump on that train mm -hmm. for all those and be, be totally fine.